They're on both sales of delighted present Athena. This is a 1999 model Beneteau 50 and is uh, presented in very, very good condition. As you step aboard, uh, you see the excellent access to the cockpit uh, between the twin wheels and then moving down into the saloon. Now, the fit out is in the rich, rich timber fit out. It's not the, what you see in the more recent designs, which are a bit more plasticky. So it's got a really nice, warm feeling about it. Lovely saloon, great dinette area, seating for up to eight to 10 people, full galley, fridge, freezer, uh, very well appointed and would satisfy the needs of the fussiest chef. Um, now moving forward into the forward cabin, this is a true owner's stateroom. You have a little um, workstation there, there's a, there's a separate sitting area, very large queen size bed. But one of the best features probably is the uh, separate shower room and bathroom. So uh, uh, you've got the shower room there with the vanity basin and then um, the toilet adjacent to it. So they're actually two separate um, facilities, which from an owner's point of view, I believe is a very, uh, very good feature. So plenty of space in this area and uh, very, very nicely appointed. So moving back through the boat, you can see again the uh, galley down the starboard side, the uh, excellent dinette area, and um, we now move into the twin aft cabins, and these both have their own ensuite bathrooms, so full queen size berths. Um, with uh, full privacy and the benefit of their own en-suites. This boat hasn't been chartered either. It's only had a couple of owners and it's been in Tasmania for about 15 years and just cruised locally. So um, a boat that really hasn't had the, uh, the work done that you'd expect if a boat had been chartered. So uh, presenting in very nice condition. All the timber works in tip-top condition down below. We're just showing another shot here of one of the en-suites. The boat's also fitted with diesel heating and they're ducted right throughout the boat. So great cockpit. Um, the uh, other feature is the way the primary winches are set up. They're right uh, adjacent to the helm. They're electric winches, so very, very easy to handle the headsail. The boat has also been re-rigged, so all new standing rigging fitted just a couple of months ago. And as we move forward, you can see the generous space around the deck area. The um, fourth cabin, which is the uh, crew quarters, is also um, a right forward and uh, access through this hatch. Currently used as storage, but it is another cabin with a berth and uh, toilet, etc. Now this boat is a Bruce Farr design, deeper draft fin keel version. So it's designed as a more performance sailing boat. So it will satisfy the needs of a serious yachty. We highly recommend this. It's a lovely boat, great sailing performance and represents very good value.